I remember the last time I was chewing gum and filming that spit was going everywhere. So I'm going to try to really refrain from that. I probably should put a face mask on right now. As we start this vlog. That should be closer. This vlog. I really need to get me a, a teeth whitening kit. I really need to take better care of myself. And I need to do something about the perspiration under my arms. I'm waiting for some clinical deodorant. It should be coming in any day now. So the pit stains should be vacated. All right, this is not about any of that. Um, oh yeah, and one final thing to mention why I'm chewing the gum right now. I'm currently on my first full day. Yesterday was a half of a day, but today is my first full day of the cigarette cutback. I'm smoking one cigarette every two hours. I'm trying not to spit one cigarette every two hours. And Monday is officially quit day two. Quit day two. So it'll be the second time that I'm trying to quit smoking. I have got to do it. I was doing the Bobo the other day. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Uh, that was live. And that was even more scary thinking that I was about to die live. So I got to start taking better care of myself. I've been drinking a lot of water today. I'm going to get back to jogging. And eventually, I'm going to be bigger than Wes Watson. That's not a shot, neither. Just saying. That guy's pretty, pretty big. Yeah, I got to start taking better care of myself, folks. So here we go. All right, so what are we doing today? Joe, why are we just filming in your house? What are the dogs doing? They're chilling. There's Luce. Hey, girl, what you doing? Looking all sad and shit. I'm trying to get you a mobile dog groomer to come wash your stinking ass dogs are chilling and we're getting ready to go do a storage unit that's right nothing too exciting about the storage unit that we're going to go get this morning there were a boatload of units going probably like 15 of those 15 there were five 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 that i wanted to get and of those five i only got one only one. And I paid $20 for this unit. Folks, there were units that I was looking at. I'm going to show you this picture right here. It was nothing but construction tools in this unit. Two eight-foot ladders, six-foot ladders, something along those lines. I think there were six-foot ladders. And that unit went for $570. Just way too much, way too much. Another unit that I was looking at looked like it had a mini fridge, uh, a, a dolly, and a desk and a bunch of other bullshit that went for 160 folks. I'm not paying crazy amounts of money for junk. People are super addicted to this and I've overcome that, that addiction like I'm trying to overcome this nicotine addiction and I'm going to. They're just spending way too much money on trash. I'm not gonna do that. I spent $20 on this unit. I'm not gonna share with you guys what it is. We're gonna go look at this. We're gonna go clean it out real quick. It's only gonna be me and it's only gonna be you because there's really not that much stuff to get, but there could be the potential that from this little dumbass $20 storage unit, we might make a little bit of money. So who's excited? It's been a long time since we've done a storage unit. Let's go see what we won. Yeah, see them eyebrows right there? Damn, Joe, you getting old. Still popping that gum, all right. So we're up at the storage facility right now and it was really easy to find this place because bing. It's right across the street. Oh God, that's so bright. Why is that so bright? There it goes. It's right across the street from where we got the worst storage unit ever. A $20 unit that ended up taking us like a month to clean out. We actually had to rent the unit to clean that out. So ironically enough, this is another $20 unit and maybe this one's gonna be worth it. There's not a whole lot of stuff in here, so it's not gonna take long. It's only me doing this. And I'm going to let you guys be the judge as to whether or not you think this unit is going to be worth it. I personally think it will be, but we'll see. I got to reach this gate. Hold on. Of course I can't reach. I'm excited. We haven't done a storage unit in a long time. I hate that it's only me doing this but there's definitely not enough stuff for this to be anything more than just me. So, let's go see what kind of goodies we got. Alrighty then. So it's been a long time since we got a chance to do a storage unit and we're getting ready to do one. $20 is what I spent on this thing right here and you guys let me know 
Was it worth it? Can you make a come up on a $20 unit? So we just had the woman, nice woman, pop the tag on this thing. And we're getting ready to look inside and see what kind of goodies are up in there. This place is a little busy, but hopefully it's going to be okay. And like I said, from the pictures, I know there ain't much. So let's see what it be. Floor is wet. Tough guy. This be us right here, folks. All right, let's see what it be. There we go. Oh. Wow. Wait a minute. This thing looked a lot better in the in the pictures. Um, Joe, the hell did you get? All right. So it doesn't look like much of anything. I guess maybe what that is right there is the glass to that end table right there. We got a Destiny poster up in here. That's probably worth something to some kid somewhere. But the big ticket item is Bing, right here, folks. Surfboard. I don't know nothing about surfboards, but I was looking on Facebook Marketplace, and these things got a little bit of value to them. They got a little bit of value to them. All right, we're missing the leash, and it's got something spray painted on it. Let's get this sucker out of here and look at it. What the heck does it say? All right. It says Ocean Atlantic Rentals. Oh man, somebody stole this. This is a stolen surfboard right here, and it's missing the fins. Damn it. Ain't that something? It's a surfboard, right? It's not a paddle like a it's not a paddle board, right? I don't know nothing about surfing, but I was thinking we could probably get like a hundred bucks for this thing. I'm still going to try to shoot for that, but it's looking more like... <sighs> it's looking more like that might not be worth anything. Damn it, man. Looks like a dog chewed that thing up. What else is up in here? We got some nasty old shoes, a piece of paper with some writing on it, a bunch of phone numbers. This is what you do when... When your phone gets cut off, Kimura on Snap, what? Everybody's on Snapchat. Mm. Okay. Well, don't see much of nothing up in here. Maybe some size 12 nasties right there. I'm mad about this surfboard. This is the only reason why I got this unit. And that hole right there, that ain't good. Thing gotta be worth something though. Big surf. Missing the leash. That ain't nothing to get that replaced. Those little fins underneath it. I mean, maybe we could take up surfing. The sad thing about it is we're gonna try to sell this board. Somebody's gonna think it's stolen because it says right there after it's been spray painted, Ocean Atlantic Rentals. Maybe we can return it to them, find out who they are, return it to them, and maybe get a reward. I'm, I'm mad about this. This was only a $20 storage unit. And we also got a fishing pole. Maybe the fishing pole is worth something. Is that a nice fishing pole? I don't know what brand that is right there. Oh, man. The lights went out on us, too. Oh, shit. We ought to get at least $20 for the fishing pole. Looks like a fly fishing pole. Joe, a professional fisher. All right. So the surfboard was the main reason why I got the locker. Uh, the fishing pole also, uh, this is definitely trash, and that's definitely the glass top that went inside of this. And then this disgusting mattress right here, this poster. It makes you wonder, like, whose unit was this? Obviously, like, some kid maybe moving out for the first time. They got the damn Destiny poster framed. They really like that video game. And nothing but a piss stained. Yep, it smells like piss too. Piss stained mattress. Let's go ahead and get that up out of here. Maybe there's something behind it. And there's not. All right, well, 
That's the extent of the storage unit, folks. Nothing behind it. There ain't nothing down there. So what do you think? Is the surfboard worth anything? Maybe 20 bucks. And then maybe 20 bucks for the fishing pole. We might have made a $20 come up and we worked for about an hour in here. All right. I'm going to get this unit cleaned up, loaded up in the truck, and we'll get the hell up out of here. And if I find anything else exciting, I'll let you guys know. All right. So that literally took like 10 minutes. Storage unit's cleaned out, getting ready to load all this stuff up in the truck. Uh, disgusting mattress. Even the back is way worse than the front. My God. That thing needs a, a biohazard suit. This thing is horrendous. Tons of stains all over this, going straight to the dump. So here's the game plan. Uh, that's probably trash right there, unless somebody wants that. Trash, trash, only two things that I care about. The surfboard, the fishing pole. Try to get 40 bucks for that. Try to get 20 for the fishing pole, unless I find out that's worth anything more. 60 bucks. Spent 20 on the unit, make 40. It ain't great but it ain't losing. So, so let's go ahead and get this sucker loaded up and get up out of here. Well, I gotta be honest, that's probably the fastest that we have ever done a storage unit and got all this junk loaded up in the back of the truck. I'm glad that I didn't get any of the other units that I was looking at today because they went for just crazy amounts of money. Turn left onto East Brambleton Avenue. Jeez, just pull out in front of me, why don't you? They went for crazy amounts of money, and, and it's just crazy to me that people are just spending that money to get junk, is what they're doing. They're getting junk. And I don't know how the hell they're making their money back, if they're even making their money back. I learned a lot of things from when we were doing these in the past. I spent a lot of money, and I don't know if I ever recouped everything that I put into it. But... This was just a little $20 unit. You guys let me know if you think that this was worth it or not. I'll keep you guys posted in terms of if and when I sell this stuff and how much I sell it for. Realistically, the surfboard's probably gonna end up going for 20 bucks at the most. And the fishing pole, probably the same. They might even go for $10 a piece. Who the hell knows? But we tried and I vetted every single unit that was going today and I thought that this was gonna be the best one right here. And who knows? Maybe the surfboard goes for 50 or $70. All right. I got to focus on driving, and I will talk with you guys again real soon.